What's good? It's your man, Hurricane. Tell you what it do with a video game review. Let's talk about Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat just came out. And uh, we got to talk about the story review. It starts off, Shang Tsung is living a meaningless life as a peddler of medicine and magic. And he just got jumped by a village. So he gets approached by what we think is Kronika. Like, oh, snap, Kronika is back. I thought she was gone. And she tells Shang Tsung that he has been conspired against since he'd been born. And she is going to give him all of his power and all of the abilities that he had is going to help him out so he like yes i need this i'm at the end of my roof so mortal kombat comes on and it starts off kung lao and raiden are farmers and they protecting their village and feeding their village they go see madame bo this is their master that trained them in the arts of fighting and tell them don't slack on your training because some greater things is going to happen so the lin kuei comes in that smoke right there. Smoke comes in and they uh, threaten Madame Bo. Madame Bo like, let's scrap. We're going to scrap it out. You ain't about to get no money out of me. She gets her head banged on the motherfucking rail. And she about to get tossed off the rail. So she's presumed dead. So after, after that happens, Kung Lao and Raiden gets up and be like, Madame Bo. And they just go in and just start mangling. They just start beating up all the um, Lin Kuei ninjas. So then uh, Kung Lao fights Smoke. Whoops, smoke. You know what I'm saying? Fight. Raiden beats up all the other ninjas. Sub Zero shows up like, you dare mess with the Lin Kuei. Face our wrath. And then Scorpion pops up on the other end. So it's like, all right, it's about to go down. So Sub Zero throw a little ice attack. And um, Kung Lao dodges it. Then he jumps down, <laughs> goes after, um, I think, uh, Kung Lao or Raiden. Yeah, no, Raiden, yeah. Scorpion grabs Kung Lao by the leg, like, get over here! And then they do their thing. Kung Lao whoops Scorpion. We like, what the heck is going on? When did this start happening? And then Kung Lao fights Sub Zero. I'm like, damn, wait a minute. <laughs> You're like, yo, I'm the man. <laughs> so then they fight. You, you already know what it is. Kung Lao wins. Madame Bo gets up and be like, y'all passed the test. Liu Kang shows up, be like, thanks, Madame Bo. And he calls the other warriors out. Like, wake up, Smoke, and Sub-Zero, Scorpion. Scorpion smokes Sub-Zero and walks up and be like, all right. Y'all have been chosen to fight for Earthrealm. We about to go to this temple. Y'all about to go train while I go find the other people. Other people by this guy, Johnny Cage. He um, just got done doing the movie. He's on some karate Indiana Jones type shit. But he gets home, gets into it with his girl. She leaves him because Johnny want to try to get the big bucks. He got to get that career popping. You know what I'm saying? Like, she mad about his spending habits. <laughs> but anyway, Kenji pops up saying, you got a sword that I need to reclaim my family's honor that Johnny paid $3 million for. So Johnny beats the nigga ass for breaking into his crib trying to kill him and take a sword. So he go into a little history lesson about he need a sword to get his family's honor because the Yakuza is running the shit. So you already know what it is. Johnny Cage don't believe a word this nigga saying, but great history lesson. Tell him that, yo, you could be a great um, screenwriter. <laughs> but there's a knock at the door. And Luke Kane, uh, Scorpion, and Sub Zero is there, like, yo, look, we need to talk to you and your friend that you got over there. And Johnny Cage thinking that his producer sent Luke Kane, but really, he didn't. <laughs> so Scorpion and Sub Zero gets into it with Johnny Cage. And um, Luke Kane has enough of this shit. He said, enough. <laughs> and he just turns into fire, like, motherfucker. Johnny Cage like, that's not a special effect. What's going on here? Liu Kang tells them that you've been chosen. You and Kenji have been chosen to fight for Earth Realm and Mortal Kombat. We're about to go to the Wushu Temple and get our training on. So they go to the Wushu Temple and get their training on. They go through all the rigorous training that they got to go through to fight for Earth Realm. So Raiden is over there clowning. <laughs> like real talk, Raiden over there clowning. Raiden beating up like squads of people by himself with like the master look. So 
they all click back up and get ready for Luke Kane to tell them the rules of the tournament because Outworld gets to choose this time. So instead of these four champions, they only need one. So he has to fight all four of them. So Raiden go against Johnny Cage first. And then he have to go against um, Kenji. Kenji be talking shit. But Raiden puts him down. And then he goes against Kung Lao. Great fight. You know what I'm saying? So after he win, Liu Kang gives Raiden a uh, amulet with thunder powers in it. So Raiden is like, is this necessary? He's like, yeah, because those niggas in Outworld got powers. You're going to need it to level the playing field. Johnny Cage pull out the phone like, yes, this is what I came to see. Some magic. Blah. <laughs> so Raiden shoots out some thunder. Johnny Cage like, holy Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> So now to get ready to go to Outworld, Johnny K still got his phone out. Like, yes, I'm cataloging all this. I'm about to go through a portal like the movie Stargate. Man, this is Johnny Cage, the best part of this game. But anyway, it gets to the other side. And you know, Johnny K still got the phone out. <laughs> then he like, oh, who's these motherfucking bitches? Raider like, oh shit. Everybody like, oh shit. Then Melina <laughs> and Kitana. Wish they had better clothes on, but it's all good. Tanya shows up. I'm like, oh shit, three for three. And then they get ready to have their little greeting. Then they go and talk to General Shao. You know that Shao Khan. But he's General Shao. He tells Raiden's like, you puny, you will not taste victory and all this bull crap. And then Sindel and the daughters walk out, get ready to walk to their thrones. You know what I'm saying? I wish they had the more revealing clothing from the original Mortal Kombat, but I digress. But anyway, they get ready to sit down and they give the rules of the um, tournament and what's about to happen and Raiden's first opponent. So Raiden's first opponent is going to be no other than Lee Mei. Lee Mei got a strong backstory in this game. She got to fight for her honor again. But she says, I will fight for Outworld and I will win for us. Let's get it. And Sindel's like, you better. <laughs> will Raiden win his first round for Earthrealm? Or will he fall by a female named LeMay? Find out next time on Drag. I mean, Mortal Kombat!